When everybody else has their harvest festivals, it's usually something you associate with September or October, and things coming in from the fields or the apples ripening on the tree. For us, it's a springtime festival. Feast is our harvest. And our harvest means our fishermen are back in the water. We're foraging seaweeds and shore plants. And because the festival has grown in popularity, it also has allowed us to attract incredible chefs from around North America. The chefs that we bring in and utilize our ingredients is stuff that they don't get to do every day. You know, they don't get to pick their own oysters, go crabbing, go fishing. So when you mix that with talent that's already here, it just makes for amazing after amazing event. My mind has been blown. This place is beautiful, like beyond how I can describe it. There are no words for this place. You want to go on a bear watch? You want to go on a helicopter ride? You want to go paddleboarding? You want to go surfing? Do you want to go fishing? It's like you can do whatever you want to experience as I tagged on my Instagrams. It's your Tofino. You come in and you become part of Tofino. You'll never be able to replicate the like West Coast. We are on the beach right now cooking. You could take the seafood somewhere else and it just wouldn't taste the same. You want to eat the food where it came from. That's the magic of cooking in Tofino. It's like a different kind of cooking. It's, it's cooking for love and passion and for what we do and not necessarily for the grind every day. You know, that's kind of why it always draws me back. The chefs who are here in Tofino are so passionate and how they are sourcing their product and what they're creating is amazing and just happy to share their culinary experiences and to learn from our culinary experiences. It makes it just such a fun event. What I'm cooking today for the guests is gooseneck barnacles in a sorrel and nettle sauce. We just started harvesting our goosenecks and nettles are everywhere. And I think that really showcases spring here on the West Coast. So on this dish, we're doing a base of albacore tuna, been rolled in a little bit of seaweed powder. We're garnishing it with an oyster cream, uh, lots of fresh seaweeds, which I just picked this morning. This kind of dish is a good way of showing people that if you just know what's around you, you can kind of eat everything that's around you. We always talk about terroir in terms of wine, uh, but really there is a terroir to like plants and vegetables and even seaweed, and you really start to taste the differences the more you experience it. So I'd say it opens up a whole world to you. It's really nice to sample all the local food, the local seafood, and all the different tastes, and to see what everybody can produce from all the various restaurants. Wonderful. Can't say more than that, really. Just from like the sensory perspective, it's so much fresher. I think that's the big thing. Freshness equals just more deliciousness. Chefs deeply care about not wasting food and showing respect for the product. And sometimes you can lose touch of that if you know, you're know you opening crates up and, and you don't understand that somebody woke up at three in the morning to chug out to the sandbar to hoist a crab trap and maybe there was nothing in that crab trap. So you really appreciate the value of that product, the life that that product lived, and, and you treat it with that little bit more care. I don't know if I could feel good about serving food if it wasn't as fresh, local, and grown with the integrity that it is. And I think you can really taste it. You can taste the freshness, and you can actually taste the energy of the people bringing that food. Yeah, there's something very primal about going out on the water, getting a live fish, butchering it yourself, serving it. There's just that much more connection to, to your dish. And we find that a lot of our guests that are here are here because they want that connection with the chef or with the provider. If you just wanted to go out for dinner, you could just go out for dinner everywhere. But when you're looking for that immersive experience and you want to make those kind of connections and be a part of the story, Feast is the festival to come to. Feast Tofino is sort of this one magical moment that happens where you get to experience this tiny corner of the world, meet amazing people, and eat some incredible food.